Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you so much for watching. So today we are here in the garage to do a head-to-head -head comparison of the Isotune Free to the Apple AirPod Pros. So this is super exciting. I had the fortunate opportunity to receive the Apple AirPod Pros as a Father's Day present from my lovely significant other and my son. And so I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful to compare these two against each other for basic shop noise and power tool noise cancellation. So that's what we're gonna do. I think this is super exciting. They each have their pros and cons and I'll walk you through them one by one as we get on with the video. All right, in this corner we have the ISO Tunes Free. They are wireless earbuds with OSHA certified noise blocking features. They come in multiple colors, green and black like this one, black on black, which is very sleek. And they also come in an industrial yellow color, which I think is pretty cool. In the other corner, we have the Apple AirPod Pros. They are standard Bluetooth wireless earbuds, and they only come in white. All right, let's get to the specifics of these two wireless earbuds. All right, the Isotunes Free come in green, black, and yellow, as we discussed, and the Apple AirPods come in the classic Apple white. The Isotunes Free are 4.5 grams each, whereas the Apple Earbud Pros are 5.4 grams each. The Isotunes are IP45 rated for dust, water, and sweat. However, the Apple EarPod Pros are only IPX4 rated, so a little need to be a little bit more dainty with these than you do with the Isotunes. Uh, with the cases, the Isotune is capable of 21 hours worth of total listening time, and the AirPod Pros are capable of 24 hours. However, the Isotunes without the case will carry you a full seven hours, whereas the Apple AirPod Pros in active noise canceling mode will only last about 4.5 hours. Isotunes has a one year warranty, which is really great. The AirPod Pros only come with a 90 day warranty, but you can buy Apple Care, which extends that warranty out for three years, and it does give you a really great replacement cost if you were to lose one of them. So I highly recommend the Apple Care if you do want to invest in this. Both of them are Bluetooth 5.0. Both can control the music. However, only the Isotunes can control the volume from the earbuds. With the Apple devices, you need to pull out your phone, or if you have an Apple Watch, you can control the volume through your phone. So that's a little disappointing on Apple's perspective. However, Apple does offer a rapid charge mode in the case, where if you put the earbuds in the case for a mere five minutes, and you get a whole nother hour's worth of uh, listening time out of it. So that's actually super convenient. Um, popping them out and putting them in the case for five minutes while you're in your shop, no big deal, and you get a whole nother hour out of it. So that's pretty cool. Apple does also feature the Hey Siri capability, if you're into that sort of thing. And they actually have motion sensors built into them. So when you take the earbuds out of your ear, it actually stops playing the music. It's very cool. Uh, acceleration, G-force, and a variety of other things in these. Not entirely sure uh, what the uses of that might be in some cases, maybe for running and some other biometric feedback, but that's really interesting. All right. Uh, one unique feature of the Isotunes Free here is they do have a noise canceling microphone. So whenever you're on a call, uh, it will block out the noise, the background noise of the uh, machinery. And so you can take a call and uh, the person on the other line can actually hear you fairly well. I've used that capability. It works okay. You do have to speak a little bit louder and it's hard to know necessarily how loud you are for the person on the other side. But other than that, it works pretty well. Okay, so now obviously the major discriminator of these two products is the fact that the Apple devices have active noise canceling. The Apple AirPod Pros have these microphones here on the outside and also within the ear canal, 
that they use to sense the volume of the sound coming out and they automatically adjust to that and use that for the active noise canceling. So that is clearly a major discriminator between these two. However, the Apple AirPod Pros are a fair amount are a fair deal more expensive than the ISO tunes at $249. All right, so the way in which we're gonna conduct this experiment is I am gonna show you a video clip of me and Big Red doing basic shop activities. And then I'm gonna replay the same clip with me simulating the sound that I hear using the Apple AirPod Pros and the Isotune Freeze. This first clip here is just simply in the garage with the air filtration system on. This is my Supermax air filtration system set on the medium level. The next clip is the ISO Tunes Free earbuds. Clearly, it blocks most of the noise, but not all the noise. You can still hear the air filtration system running in the background. This version of the clip is the sound level using the Apple AirPod Pros. Can you hear that? No, nothing, zilch. Seriously, in active noise canceling mode, you literally cannot hear anything in the garage. As a brief warning, some of the sound levels in the next couple clips are gonna get pretty loud. So if you're listening with ear pods or you're listening with headphones, I do recommend that you turn your volume down a little bit. I will put a warning on the screen for the moments whenever the sound levels are gonna get very high. Um, I will tell you, it is annoying without ear protection in the garage, uh, but uh, when I was editing these videos, I can certainly tell you that um, it was really annoying wearing the headphones whenever I was doing the editing. Next is the air filtration system running with my Rockler dust collection system on. As you can tell, it's fairly loud at about 85 dB. Next up is the dust collection with the ISO tunes free. With the ISO tunes, it does block a good deal of the sound, but you can definitely hear the dust collection. You get a low rumble through the ISO tunes free earbuds. Next up are the Apple AirPods Pro and the dust collection system. With the AirPod Pros on, it is nearly silent. They do an excellent job of filtering out the continual hum of the dust collection and the air filtration system. Now this is where we get into some of the power tools. First up is the table saw. Without ear protection, it comes on around 90 dB on the sound meter. Slightly louder than the dust collection system alone, but not too bad. Obviously when you're cutting some wood, it does get a little bit louder, but not too much. In the next clip, we'll be turning on the table saw and cutting some wood with the Isotunes free. As you can hear, it does reduce the sound, but again, you can hear it. It mutes the sound so you don't get a lot of that high-pitched whistle through, uh, but it does not completely eliminate it. In this clip, we'll be turning on the table saw and cutting some wood with the Apple AirPod Pros. Once again, it does cancel a good deal of the noise. However, the noise that does come through is very much a high-pitched whine that is really quite annoying, quite honestly. Of all of the power tools, it does the best job at canceling the noise from the table saw. Next up is the miter saw. So the miter saw doesn't make any noise until you start using it, obviously, and most of the noise is made whenever you're actually cutting wood. 
So in this clip, the saw obviously doesn't make any noise until you turn it on. And when you do turn it on, it comes in around 85 to 90 dB, which is similar to the table saw. So when you are cutting wood, again, it does get a little bit louder, but not too much. So the next clip is with the IsoTunes Free. So as you can hear, it does block a good deal of the noise. However, just like the table saw, it lets a fair amount of the noise through, but blocks a lot of the high-pitched whine. In this clip, we have the Apple AirPod Pros in active noise canceling mode. Just like the table saw, it does block most of the noise. It does a probably better job at blocking the saw when it's simply on than it does when it's cutting through wood, but it does a really great job overall. In this clip, we have the jointer. Now, the jointer is one of the more noisy of the tools in the shop, and so I was really interested in seeing the results of both of these. So as you can hear, the jointer is quite loud, even when you're not planing wood. When you are planing wood, it gets very loud. In this clip, we have the IsoTunes Free, my 8-inch jointer, and the dust collection system running simultaneously. Like the miter saw and the table saw, it does block a good deal of the noise, but I will say it does leave a fair amount of the noise bleeding through. In the next clip, we have the Apple AirPod Pros in active noise counseling mode once again. And it does block a good deal of the noise just like the IsoTunes Free, but the pitch and tone coming through the earbuds is significantly higher and I do find it a lot more annoying than the IsoTunes Free. Finally, we finish this comparison with the loudest of all the power tools in the garage. The DeWalt planer that I have is a wonderful tool, but it is really, really loud, especially when you're planing wood, hardwoods, and wood that is very wide. All right, so in this clip, uh, I'm warning you, it's gonna be very loud. Here is the DeWalt planer when you flip it on, and then when you're running wood through it. As you can tell, super loud, super annoying. You should definitely not be in the garage running this tool without your protection. Next clip is the IsoTunes Free. You can clearly hear that the IsoTunes do a fairly good job at reducing the sound level from the planer. It reduces a lot of the high pitch whine and you can hear a very significant low rumble, but overall it does significantly break the volume of sound that you experience while using the planer. Next up are the Apple AirPod Pros with the DeWalt 13-inch planer and my dust collection system. It does block some of the noise, but it really lets those high-pitched whines through. I will tell you that I think that between both of the AirPods, that they do about a similar job blocking noise with the planer. This is the part of the experiment where I accidentally stumbled across some interesting nuances of the Apple AirPod Pros. So as I was planing, I went to switch the songs and I accidentally held the button down too long and switched the AirPod Pros from active noise canceling into transparency mode. Now, if you're not familiar with the transparency mode, that's where you can switch the AirPod Pros where they will allow sound from the outside in where it actively mixes the music or whatever you're listening to on your phone or your device in with the outside sound. So the interesting artifact of this is that it actually amplified the sound of the planer as I was using it, and it was exceptionally painful. 
I wasn't expecting that and I highly recommend if you get the Apple AirPod Pros, do not under any circumstances use transparency mode while you're using power tools. That is uh, something that I was not expecting, although in hindsight, I suppose it makes perfect sense, but <laughs> definitely want to avoid that. All right, well in summary, head-to-head -head comparison, I think the results were pretty compelling for the Apple AirPod Pros. Under normal shop circumstances with general background noise and even light use of a table saw or a miter saw, it does an excellent job at simply canceling out the noise. The Isotunes Free does a great job as well. I actually think the Isotunes Free, the way it blocks the noise and leaves some of the lower end frequencies through is a little better for me because I find the high pitch sounds a lot more annoying. Um, but nothing uh, that the Isotunes Free does can compare to just the tremendous act of noise canceling that are in the that are in the Apple AirPod Pros. Now I wouldn't actually expect the Isotunes Free to compete head to head with the Apple AirPod Pros in active noise canceling mode. Uh, so the results there are not entirely unexpected, but I really was shocked about how well the AirPod Pros do just cancel out the basic background noise in the garage while you're working. Okay, with that, which one would I recommend? Well, both actually. For the planer and the jointer, I like the Isotunes Free better. It just blocks out that high pitch whine. There's still a good amount of bleed through of the noise, perhaps maybe with different uh, foam inserts and might do a slightly better job. But for everything else, I do prefer the Apple AirPod Pros. Um, the noise isolation and noise cancellation is just far superior. Uh, it allows me to work in the garage, listen to my music, and no worries there. You know, the Isotunes Free does limit the volume of the music, so you can't actually turn them up very loud at all. So that is an advantage of the noise canceling feature here, where you don't have to turn the music up very loud at all because it is canceling the noise. With the Isotunes Free, I'm finding myself turning the volume up to max on the phone. It does limit it to 85 dB in the AirPods, uh, so it actually doesn't get that loud. But with the dust collection running and maybe the, the table saw turned on, I really can't hear the music at all. And I will tell you the minute the planer is turned on, the music is completely drowned out. And all I hear is the hum of the planer and the whine of the wood going through. So. It's not too dissimilar to the EarPod Pros, although they do a better job with the music coming through by trying to cancel the sound from the outside. So in that regard, maybe these are better, but I think it is a matter of personal preference. I will say, all things being equal, the Apple AirPod Pros are probably the better choice kind of overall, uh, but they are more expensive. And so hopefully at some point in the future, Isotunes will come out with an active noise canceling solution, hopefully in the free version, because I do like the free version a lot better than the wired version. I will definitely say if you're gonna get any Isotunes at all, I would definitely get the free over the wired versions, the Pro or the 2.0, but that's just my personal preference. All right, that's the video. I hope you like it. It was a lot of fun to make. It was a lot of work to make, but I think it was totally worth it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway, but please leave your comments down below so that we can make future videos better. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please do so. That's where I post pictures of projects like this so you can get a sneak peek into future upcoming videos. All right, that's it. Thank you so much again, and don't forget to be inspired. One, simulating the sound that I hear out of the iTunes. Then I'm going to show you a video. <clears throat> then I'm going to show you the same clip simulating the sound that I hear while wearing the Apple Eye. <laughs> As advertised. I don't know why we would be surprised by that. Apple's pretty good at that. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for getting this far. Hello? What's up? Did you get my text message? No, I'm filming a video.
and recording me talking to you on the phone in the process.